Hey guys, John and Jeff here with Best Price Nutrition. Uh, check out the website at bestpricenutrition.com and uh, make sure you subscribe to our email and SMS list for, uh, for all updates, find out about sales and new products we're bringing in. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about magnesium, particularly magnesium glycinate. Yep. Uh, this is something I take every day. You do. Um, popular one, I don't think we're sold out of a lot of our magnesium glycinates on the website right now. Yeah, this has gotta be one of the most popular, I guess, non-sports, we sell a lot of sports nutrition, but non-sports related products that we sell. It seems to be trending a lot recently, so I'm not sure yeah. if there's a health expert out there on the internet talking about it, but yeah, it seems to be really popular right now. Yeah, and exactly. And we, we kind of want to bring this to your attention because we do get a lot of questions like, why is everybody taking magnesium or which type of magnesium should I take? Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of wanted to go over, like you said, the magnesium glycinate um, versus the other popular one, which is the citrate. You know, people seem to be pretty educated on magnesium as well, because we have a lot of customers who are looking for the glycinate. They don't yep. want some of the other uh, some of the other forms. Exactly. So, so in today's video, we're going to kind of go over the benefits of the magnesium uh, glycinate versus the citrate. Um, so the biggest one, and I think the reason you take it is for the sleep. Yeah, like sleep uh, kind of relaxes your nerves and things like yeah. that. But yeah, I take this and l every night before bed. Is that what you? Yeah. Still, we have another product called like Calm. We do. Yeah, we yes. have like a magnesium powder drink. Yes. Uh, and that one's that one's pretty popular as well. Yeah. So so definitely, you know, it's it's you know magnesium uh, glycinate has been shown to support relaxation and of course improve sleep quality. And next, you know, maybe maybe that's why I, I said this improves mood, and I have zero interest in making videos today. So maybe it's because I've been short on my magnesium here. Yes, man. Yep. Not uh, not too bubbly today, but uh, but yeah, magnesium uh, plays a crucial role in brain function and mood regulation, uh, and magnesium glycinate can help manage symptoms of depression and anxiety. There we go. We need to get to use some of that today. <laughs> next one for the athletes out there. Um, no sleep is for it as well, but is muscle health. So the big thing that people take magnesium for is muscle spasms or muscle cramping. Um, so probably really important, like if you're not hydrating enough or a runner, mm -hmm. you know, magnesium would be a good um, product to add to your diet. Uh, then we've got uh, bone health. Magnesium is vital for bone health. It helps with the development of bones. Uh, influ influences the activities of osteoblasts and osteoclasts that build healthy bone density. Yes. Exciting stuff. Next is the cardiovascular help, health. Uh, helps with normal heart rhythms, supports healthy blood pressure levels, and is important for the metabolism of lipids, which contribute to your overall cardiovascular health. And next, uh, magnesium is effective in blood sugar control. Uh, helps regulate blood sugar levels, and it's beneficial to people with diabetes or those at risk, uh, or who have blood. Uh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the reduced migraine frequency. You get migraines? I know. Do you? No. My grandma does. I'll have to try, never try this. Yeah, my wife gets them all the time. They sound terrible, um, but it can uh, reduce the frequency of migraines due to the neurotransmitter function and blood circulation. So it may help with people that got migraines. And then lastly, uh, anti-inflammatory benefits. Yep. Magnesium can act as an anti-inflammatory agent, reducing inflammation in the body, which is associated with conditions like heart disease and diabetes. Pretty much everything that could possibly be wrong with your body is, is a result of inflammation. Yes. So, good, good thing yes. there. So overall, just a great, uh, you know, compound. You know, and in terms of why this is is uh, better than citrate and some yep. other forms, uh, better absorption, uh, easier on the stomach, yep. right? Uh, more overall health benefits and uh, better for dealing with cons. Oh, Whoa, no, uh, yeah, yes, yeah. Citrate is better for constipation. Exactly. Yeah, and that, that's I think is the only. There used to be a product called uh, uh, Aspari uh, Super Pump. People used to call it Super Dump. Right. Because I think it has the citrate <laughs> uh, magnesium in it. We don't. I never really made this connection, but I don't know if you, when you were a little kid, you know those bottles of like CVS or Walgreens brand. It's like purple or red. Yeah. Juice. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think it's called Milk and Magnesia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you think that's magnesium citrate? I bet it is. I know it's like super salty, so I imagine it's what to yeah to make you poop and then replace some of your lost yeah, salt that's and electrolytes. Right, yes, but yeah. yeah, I never thought of that. But yeah, that's magnesium, I guess. Yeah, exactly. So, so I think so. If you're looking for a magnesium supplement, this is definitely the one to try. But if you're constipated or having stomach issues, then the magnesium citrate is definitely the, the better option. Yeah, the better option for that. So. Um, 
So yeah, I, I think we kind of went through everything and kind of explained the differences here. Yeah. Um, so sleep, muscle cramps, muscle health, mood, go with this guy, constipation, Citrate. Citrate. Yep. And I think as far as brands, what we got uh, Solarate, Cal, I now think Food Life Extension maybe makes yeah. a, a Glycinate, and now Foods. So. And then that Calm product. That yeah. Calm. Yep. Yeah, so we'll, we'll link to some of these guys down in the description box below. Yep. All right, guys, hopefully that better explains it. If you have any more questions about the two different forms of magnesium we talked about in the video, post them down below. John and I are always happy to answer those questions. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And lastly, if you enjoy these types of videos, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time that we do a new video. Thanks for watching, guys.